Uh, hey folks, so I'm not going to take very much time explaining this because uh, I don't think it requires that much time, but also you don't want to be watching a super duper long tutorial. It's pretty straightforward. So there's two techniques, continuous contour, blind contour, okay? Contour, this line, is a fancy word for um, line, okay? So this. Anything I've done here is technically contour, okay? In the realm of uh, drawing, really want to think outline, the contour of something, okay? And this is going to be my muse, the thing I'm going to draw, okay? Um, the reason that we're doing these two techniques is because you want to achieve these two things, okay? Whenever you draw something, Typically, you're trying to achieve these things, precise proportions and the form of whatever it is you're trying to draw. You're trying to make this thing that's three-dimensional seem believable on something that's two-dimensional, okay? So, I'm going to put this right here so you can see it, okay? And forgive me because I'm actually... Uh, I'm looking through my camera, but I'm also looking at my sketch pad. Um, so here are the rules, okay? Continuous contour, you can look at what you're drawing, but you cannot lift your drawing tool from the paper, okay? It's not to frustrate you or make you irritable, although it can do both of those things when you're learning to draw. The reason is, if you're focused on following the contour of this, and you're not lifting this up, it, this positively forces the draftsman to sync their eye, what they're looking at, which is the outline, with their hand, okay? Your hand and your eye need to move in unison, okay? Almost like dance partners. So, this is what it looks like, okay? I'm not worried about shadows, just outline. Now I'm moving fairly quick, okay? Uh, I'm used to doing this because this is what I do for a living. Um, it's also something I've done for a very long time. So I may look, I, I may be making this look easier than it actually is for some people. Now you can see that I'm going outside of the box. That's okay because I'm trying to maintain the proportion. Sorry about my phone. It's blowing up. Um, and I'll even outline this shadow. Okay? So it never lifts and focus on sinking your hand with your eye. Now, um, blind contour is very similar to this, except I am not looking at this. I'm not looking at the page. I'm keeping my eyes here on the object most of the time. This is the most important drawing skill ever. That's not an exaggeration. Whenever you're trying to achieve proportion and form, you're going to use this technique more often than not. Is that to say that you will stare at whatever it is you're drawing, like if it was a landscape or a person or something, the whole time and never look at your drawing pad? No, of course not. But you want to keep your eyes on what you're drawing more than 50%, let's say even 60 or 70% of the time when you're doing the contour or the outline. So let's do the same thing. Now, I know you can't see my face, so you're just going to have to trust me on this. Um, but I should say, your first few blind contour drawings never look pretty, and that's usually the dead giveaway of how you know somebody is really looking at the object. So, here I go, okay? As I said before, I am trying to get my hand and my eye in sync with one another, and I have to do that more with this technique because my hand is now acting as my eye 
because I I will lose my place if I lift up my hand. Okay? Like I said, not pretty. Okay, but check this out. Look how precise this area is compared to the real thing, compared to when I was staring at it, right? There are moments in a blind contour drawing that are so precise because you stared at what you're supposed to be drawing. You're never interpreting. You're staring at what you're supposed to be drawing, okay? So um, I'm a little over five minutes. I'm going to try and keep this short. Here's what you're going to do for today, okay? This is going to be your first sketchbook assignment as a foundation's course member, okay? Do each of these five times, okay? Back to back, but change the angle of the object each time you draw, okay? So essentially five different angles um, for continuous contour and then five different angles for blind contour. You can use the same angles as this one for this one, just change up the technique, okay? Good luck. Um, the more you do this, the better you're going to get.